Welcome back, everyone, to the Division Three State Track Final, sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud to be the exclusive presenting sponsor of WSN State Track Coverage, and as always, proud to support Mercer County Athletics. This is one of my favorite races, because this is what I ran back in high school and college, a 400-meter dash. And here are your contenders. In lane one, it's Jordan Rosales of Toledo Christian. Lane two, Lydia Kittner of White Oak. We have... In lane three, Addison Swearingen of Fairlawn. In lane four, Sydney Sin coming in with the fastest time from Wayne Trace. In lane five, your 100-meter dash champion, Kirsten Franklin of Sydney Lehman Catholic. In lane six, Maddie Merritt of Legacy Christian. Lane seven, Peyton Heitmeyer from Lipsick. Lane eight, Kylie Montgomery of Dawson Bryan. And late nine, Emma Richards from Fort Fry. Now, Sydney Sin from Wayne Trace has a chance to win this one. Five, six, five, eight coming in. Jordan Rosales from Toledo Christian in lane one. I saw her run at the Montpelier Invitational. She was fantastic. This is a real competitive field. I have a feeling we're actually going to see some, some time drops today. I think yesterday, with it being prelims, they were doing what they needed to do to get in. But I think we're going to see some times a little closer to that 56-second mark that Sydney Sin did yesterday. Yeah. And we're seeing – She's making her move we're now. We're seeing a competitive, competitive field right here. Yeah, Sydney Sin hanging out in lane four. She is the one out in front. And she is focused. That red jersey is easy to watch. Her arms are pumping. Her legs are moving. I got to give her a shoe award because she's got cool pink shoes that are going to take her to a state champion. Well, she's going to say, my shoes are cool. I'm cool because I'm the state champ. Seniors, no, junior, junior Sydney Sin from Wayne Trace is your state champion in a time of 55.92. Swearingen from Fairlawn finishing in third place with a 57.85. Lehman Catholics, Kirsten Franklin with a 58.31. She finishes in fifth place, I think. Heitmeyer from Lipsick was in fourth, Franklin in fifth. So we've got first, fourth, fifth. They run these so quick. Sin is in first. Swearingen is in third, Heitmeyer is in fourth, Franklin is in fifth. That's pretty nice. Our ladies are making it to the podium. Here on the infield with Lipstick's Peyton Heitmeyer just, uh, finishing up the 400 uh, podium finish. How do you feel? Um, I'm happy with that. I was excited to get on the podium. Um, I got sixth last year, so getting fourth this year was really nice. What uh, changes, improvements did you feel like you made that allowed you to finish a couple spots higher this year? Um, I did more weightlifting over the summer after last season ended, so I think I'm stronger this year. I've been kind of battling, uh, like, tight hip muscles, so it wasn't as good as I wanted, but I did do better than last year, so I'm happy with that. Fourth place finish is a, a terrific accomplishment. Congratulations. Great season. Thank you. Thank you. State champion, Sydney Sin from Wayne Trace. How's it, how's it sound? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Feels great. Uh, tell me about the 400, the race you uh, placed first in. Uh, how did it feel? Take me through what your approach was and how you're feeling now. So being in lane four, I know the next fastest time usually. The next two fasts are going to be right on the outside of me. So my goal is to go out really strong the first 200 meters. And like at the 200 mark, I like to be like ahead or pretty even with the rest of the competition. And having the endurance from my 800 training, I really just set the pace in my first 200, then kind of hold that out and finish off the race that way. So how does, the, how does it feel in comparison? Because you've run longer races, this is a shorter one. Does it feel like it's easier in a sense than perhaps one of your longer races? Um, Maybe easy is not the right word, so you feel in the right word for me then. I'd say the mindset is easy. I feel like the more like the longer distance you go, it's not as hard maybe on your legs. It's a little harder on your lungs, but the mindset is completely different. It's way harder the longer distance you go. The 400, it's pretty quick and you don't really have much time to think through it. And by the time you kind of get set in your pace, you're already halfway done, so it's not that bad. Uh, something that I noticed when you're on top of the podium, you were, you were holding the hands of the second and third place. I've noticed a lot of uh, camaraderie among the runners. Is it a, is it a pretty close-knit group, the runners that are close to you, that are the most competitive, kind of where uh, you are in terms of uh, ability and how you guys tend to place it at events? Yeah, I'd definitely say so. I feel like in, in the events, I mean like the 400, 800 events, 
there's not really like we're all pretty close because it's just well she's either a faster runner than you or she's not like you we're all super proud of each other for our accomplishments and we all just kind of rally together and the holding hands thing that started last year with Abby Suzek and Emily Holler who placed first and second last year in the 400 and I don't know it kind of stuck with me so I just wanted to carry that on this year. You looking forward to holding hands at this event next year maybe at the top of the podium? Absolutely. <laughs> well, look forward to seeing you there, hopefully. Um, Sydney, congratulations. Great season.